Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Donkey Kong Country Advance playthrough. Uh, this video will probably be the last video of the project, of the main part of the project. I may have an extra video or two for this, but uh, yeah, we only have two levels left and two boss fights and then getting the rest of the photographs. And I think we can probably just do that in this video, so that's what I'm going to be planning to do anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go to Loopy Lights to start. This is the um, fourth level of World 6. And they actually don't change the um, level um, order in this world at all. It's the same level order, so don't have to worry about any levels in the wrong places. Um, but uh, before we get started, there is actually a photograph in this level. And uh, this photograph is incredibly difficult to get. My god, that was brutal. Okay, let's continue. Uh, so yeah, Loopy Lights is kind of the uh, sequel to uh, the Stopping Ghost Station. Although, um, the barrels don't control enemies. Rather, the uh, barrels control the lights. So, we have to turn the lights on uh, while we're going through this. And there is the cane here, so we did have to go through here. That works for me. And, uh, yeah, let's continue on our adventure here. Bop. You love a good bop. I almost jumped into the pit right there. Um, uh, the second bonus for this level is actually kind of tricky, too. Um, and, and I'm not being kidding when I say that. This is not a meme like the, uh, <laughs> photograph was. Um, we'll get, we'll get to that shortly. Um, not there yet. I think we have to get the midpoint first, anyway. I'm actually not too disappointed we have Diddy uh, for this as well. I think Diddy does make this a bit easier. Kind of, anyway. That's okay. Look. I'm gonna not worry about that bunch of bananas up there. Um, anything going down? Just that claptrap. The jumping claptraps. Okay, right here. I'm gonna continue on. And the funny thing is, we actually don't need, a uh, Um... The lights on for any of this. The lighting is honestly good enough. <laughs> where you can see what's going on without too much issue. Wait, did I just... I think I just skipped the bonus. <laughs> I went too far. Okay, that's fine. We can go back. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I went way too far. Um, it's okay. We got it now. I believe the end is in here, too. So, thank God we... I forgot all about this. Okay, well, let's see if we can get a good score here. Got over 900. That's pretty good. I think if I would have uh, made some better jumps, I probably could have gotten a little more from that. But... Oh, well. De definitely did not intend to do another one of these stages, but hey. I mean, especially right now when we're like... 99 lives, so like we definitely didn't need to do that. Also, dang it. Let's see what sucks is I've already done part of this stage anyway, so it's like I'm doing nothing but stuff I've already completed. That Neki is kind of a troll. <laughs> kind of a troll location. I did not mean to go back in the bonus, but that's okay. Yeah. See, normally, if this was, like, the original game, they wouldn't give you another token. <laughs> they would just, you know, just go, hey, you, you got this. You don't need to be farming lives here. Here, they're like, eh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Let's 
see, I'm not even going to worry about hitting the light switch, because you can see good enough, I think. Go. Looks like we got Mankey Kong throwing his barrels. His barrels of joy. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys. Also, that dumb clap trap at the very end. Okay, so it's time for the last dance studio mission I'm gonna say it right now I am not expecting to get a perfect on this so I'll probably just stop at world one before I go to the final boss fight um, so yeah let's go ahead and do some dancing this is the last challenge let's see if you're up to it good luck That should be good enough. That is a pretty trippy, tricky stage. There's a lot of notes you gotta hit. Okay, so there we go. Got the snapshot for that. And with that, we're gonna head to the last level of the game, Platform Perils, which I have to say, I'm actually a fan of this level. I, I like this level. I think it's uh, got a nice degree of challenge involved with it. Um... It's got a very hidden bonus here at the very beginning, apparently. <laughs> you have to actually be on the right plane. But there is definitely something there. Um, I'm just going to do this, because I don't care. But yeah, I really like this level. I think this level it has a nice degree of challenge, and it's a very memorable last stage for a number of reasons. And I remember the first time like I beat this level, I was like, you know what, that was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Um, but there is actually a snapshot here, so I do want to make you guys aware of that. Um, we need to start looking out for it when we see a bunch of armies on scaffoldings, which I believe that is what this is. And I think all we do is just drop... Maybe it's after that. <laughs> Maybe it's after that part. That's okay, we'll try again. Man. I want to say it's probably a, on an arrow we have to follow downward, and no, not that one. Could also be more than halfway through the stage, too. Actually, yeah, I think I know where it is. Here, I think, is where it is. Do, 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 do. I really hope we don't get a winky stage. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God! Again? Huh. <sighs> Okay, it wasn't here, actually. Oh, it's after this. Yeah, I saw it right there. So if I would have just been patient and waited, I would have found it, but... Nope, that's not my M.O. Neither is making jumps. Very easy jumps. 
I like how that zinger gets killed when <laughs> you re-enter the level. Um, but yeah, right here for this part of the level, it's definitely recommended to have Donkey Kong <laughs> as your main Kong, because I think this section's a little harder with Diddy. Uh, I don't think there's a bonus down there. No, there's not. I just wanted to be sure. Ah, I want to get DK back anyway. I always forget about the, the levels that are on this, like, backdrop. I always kind of forget about which secrets are where. And see, that's the problem with having Diddy is because... Oh my gosh. I'm just having a lot of deaths here on this last level here. switch to DK when I get to safe ground. Okay. So this part. And here's what you gotta do for this part. So I have a bunch of these gray crushes which uh, Gray crushes, not even DK can eliminate. So we'll need to be careful with these guys. And we'll need to throw barrels at them like this. And the reason why you want to be DK is because of DK's throw. You have better control over how you throw your barrel. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. No! <laughs> I almost survived that. See, that's what I meant when I said that Diddy doesn't have the greatest throws when it comes to this game, so you have to be kind of careful with how he does his throwing maneuvers. go that's the uh, that was the uh, snapshot for getting all the um, is there a bonus down there hold on guys okay I'm glad I looked this up because there is actually something else here Uh, I always, again, it's, it's the fact that, like, there's so many stages like this and, like, the endings look so similar that I just can't usually remember which, <laughs> which is which, honestly. Okay, well, I'm not gonna bother with this because we've already gotten enough animal stages for today. And, uh, with that, that is the last, uh, bonus area. Which means that should give us another photograph... And now, we can move on to the boss of this world, Neki's Revenge. So really quickly, let me just pull this up, because I'm not 100% sure. It says 97%, which is pretty good. Okay, we got that Crusha. Still need those two, so we need two. We got that one. There's the Kong family one for getting all the Kong letters. I think that's the one for beating the game. Okay, got that one, got that one, got that one, got that one. So yeah, we're down to just three. So we just need the um, picture here at 13, which is for beating the game. And then the two Kong family members, so that's all we got left. Everything else has been completed. All the level stats are done. Okay, well, first of all, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take on this boss. And Neki's Revenge 
is actually um, two boss fights. We have Neki Senior and Neki Junior. There's not really a difference between the two, though. One of them attacks first. Senior is the one that attacked first. So I don't think they do anything. Oh, okay. They do they do go into rage mode when you kill the other one. So that is something. So we'll have to uh, uh, there. There. Yeah. 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 Oh, take that! Oh, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Got a little too excited there. It's just like the old days, reusing the boss, changing its color, and pretending it's completely new. <laughs> That's it, only K. Rule left to beat. Come on, let's go and kick his scaly butt. That's the plan. After we do a few things here. So, first off, I'm going to go ahead and get the Funky's Fishing one. Um, this is the w level where I saw hit the crab. So, I'm just going to keep going with this. Um, it, it's completely luck based. If it appears, it appears. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, I'm just going to wait until it appears, and that's all I'm going to really do. Got it. Okay. Just have to finish this now. Okay, there we go. So we got the crab. Well done, dude. Cool fishing. And he caught that pesky crab. Here, take these as a reward. Okay, so... No! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, hold on, guys. Okay, so we got the photo from Funky. Uh... Now we gotta get candies, which, like I said, I think the best way to do this is just to go back to World 1 and do that dancing game because it's the shortest and the easiest to master. And once again, I'm just gonna cut until my successful attempt, I think. Okay, so I guess you don't have to get, like, completely perfect. Just enough to, like, I don't know. Because I, I definitely only had a hit in there, so I don't, I don't get why it didn't count that. But either way, we got it. Okay, well with that, I think it's time we can finally uh, finish the game here. So we're going to go all the way back over to Gangplank Galleon and take on K. Rule. There he is, and he's pretty huge. Yeah, he pretty much works in the same manner that he does in the original. Yeah. 
Now you have to be careful there, because uh, he doesn't jump as high as he does in the original game. I also find the cannonballs a little harder to dodge in this version, too. GBA version is awesome. Donkey Kong Country is just awesome, you guys. You heard it here, you heard it here first, folks. I, mean, I don't know. You probably heard that elsewhere. Donkey Kong Country is pretty well beloved. <laughs> if you knock him down. We get the credits. But something's weird about these credits. For one, I don't know if Clump should be responsible for the concept of this. But yeah, it's not over. We got one more phase. No hits. The last photograph and the final big banana. We did it, guys. Saving game. Save complete. What a player, DK, my lad. You beat the Kremlings and found everything. You're nearly as good as I used to be. And that's it. That's Donkey Kong Country. We don't end in DK's treehouse this time. Instead, we end in uh, on Gangplank Galleon, but hey, nothing wrong with that. Um, but yeah, this is uh, it's Donkey Kong Country. If you love the original, I think you'll get definitely some enjoyment out of this. Definitely get enjoyment over it over the freaking Game Boy Color version. Which I know, I know I've gone on about that a lot, and... I should do like some kind of video. Maybe I'll maybe I'll work on a video like where I just kind of talk about the Game Boy Color version and why I despise it so much, and just in general, kind of showcase some of the unique features of the GBC version because there are some things to mention, including perhaps the most interesting thing: the fact that there's like a unique level in the game that's exclusive to just that version for some reason. <laughs> I love that they actually did that with the Mankeys though, so they kinda they kinda made this uh, a little more interesting by giving like some extra animation. That's kinda cool. But yeah, like um, definitely consider checking this out if you're a fan of the Donkey Kong Country series. And in addition to that, check out Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 because they made uh, Game Boy Advance versions for those games too, and I think I will definitely cover those games in the future. Maybe I'll kind of do it like as a yearly thing, like I've been doing with like some of my other games, like the Mega Man series. I was doing the Mario Party, the Mario Kart series for a while too. So maybe I'll do something like that, where I just cover one of these games per year, just to kind of you know keep things going. Because that was one of the things I was really disappointed with when. Um, um, I did Tropical Freeze, and when I finished the land games as well, it's just like, well, I've done all the DKC games, if unless if I just do them again for replays or something, so, you know what, let's, let's cover the handheld installments, and I'm glad I did, because these are great games, like, um, I think these games are definitely worth uh, playing, even if you've played these games millions of times before. It's just a unique way to play it, and I think it... It controls great, like it's a huge improvement over the GBC version for sure. So, you know, I think these are definitely worth checking out for not just like the extra and bonus content, but even just for like, you know, nostalgia's sake too. And hey, maybe I'll do this with like the Mario Advance series too, or like the, you know, the 
Mario Advance games. That could be fun. We'll give more longevity to some extra playthroughs on my channel. But yeah, I, I love Donkey Kong Country. It's been, it's always been one of my favorite series. I mean, in my top 15 SNES games video, all three games were in my top 15. <laughs> so, I love these games. Now that's all sorted, I'm going back to sleep. Oh, is that, oh, that's DK, I think. You lazy ape, you're too, getting too old for this. You've done a great job, guys. Yeah, wicked man. This sea air is doing me no good at all. What? <laughs> Make yourselves at home. K. Rule. Right. I had enough of this. It's time for me to get going. So for you, Kongs, better get off my boat, or else. Or else what? I'll destroy DK Island. <laughs> You're bluffing, lizard face. I don't think he is, sugar. Let's get off this manky ship. I'm too old for this. See ya. I'm bailing out, dudes. We'll meet again, K. Rule. I'm out of here. And they just jump in the water. I'll be back in Donkey Kong Country 2. I think that's actually how this, like, how that game starts, too, funnily enough. Call that an ending? Looks like a cheap stunt setting up the story for the sequel. Yeah, I, I literally just said the same thing. <laughs> Oh, Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong Country. And here we have the credits. Which I've already kind of done my spiel and everything. But, you know, what I've said, I can't stress enough. These games are great. They're solid. And, uh, you know, it's someone actually pointed this out um, earlier on in the playthrough, but, you know, thank God that Microsoft, like, allowed Rare to actually make these ports for the Game Boy Advance. Because they could have quite literally just said, no, Nintendo's our competitor. We don't need to give them anything. Given they are just ports, they're not, like, new... I mean, there's new content, at least, but, you know, they're... They're, they're newer, newer versions of games that had already existed. And, you know, it was, you know, a series that they had some good involvement with, but still, it's kind of nice that Microsoft did allow that to happen. There are a few other games they actually allowed happen on Nintendo systems, too, but they were mainly just Game Boy Advance games. I don't think they did any console stuff. I always thought that was interesting, at least. I guess we get some, like, good fireworks while we're doing this, too. Shiggy Miyamoto. And there we go. Game complete, 101%. Game time, 349, 19. Which I feel like that's actually pretty extra, but keep in mind, there's a lot more to unlock in this. Not to mention going for all the Kong letters, and, you know, not doing any of the warps, which... That's another thing I could show in the bonus video, too. But I'll, I'll have the bonus video um, next time, and we can kind of discuss some of the other features of this game, quote-unquote. Um, but yeah, let's uh, go ahead and end here. I'll talk more about Hero Mode in addition to other things next time. 
This has been Slim Kirby. This has been Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Advance. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.